Hello everybody, here's another uh, project of mine. It's uh, another vintage clock, which I've been working for the uh, last couple of months. Uh, here and there, not constantly. So that came out of a uh, cardboard uh, box, some kind of package. Um, and I used a lot of um, Tim Holtz products and uh, then my new discovery is Natasha Scrapbook Corner embellishment. I really, really love that. That's this one. And here is a beautiful little heart and this boar tie, uh, double sided. And this is another cookie heart. It's tiny, but it's so cute. Um, here's my Rhodes um, uh, doors. Uh, this my Rhodes doors. It's my favorite ever product because I use it for the bottles, decorations, and clocks, and everywhere I need to build a tower. I use yours. Uh, here's some roses from Natasha Scrub Corner, and another one from I'm Roses. This is little Tim Holtz doorknob, and um, this flat pearl. Uh, let me see. That was that was that. That was lost and found pearl swirls. Uh, that's a pretty cool thing. It's uh, it was a little old, so it lost its glueness. So I had to add another glue to it in order to stick properly. Here's the bottom. Here's the little flat pearl. What I used as a as a legs for that thing turned out pretty awesome, and it's even working. So for the clock itself, I used. Uh, that stencil crafters workshop 12 by 12 and I think I used this one so I would get the texture paste and I would put it on a box and after I covered it with the gesso and uh, uh, how you call it uh, acrylic paint this is doily uh, I will show to you the cricket cartridge. This dolly came from Paper Lace Cricket Cartridge. It's my favorite of the favorite cartridge. It's absolutely amazing. All kinds of dollies are in here. And I think this is this one. Pretty cool stuff. And for the back sides, I used. Tim Hall paper here that's 12 by 12 paper but it's pretty much the same collection um, it calls uh, Tim Holtz uh, I don't see the name of it as always goodness well whatever his paper is I use 36 papers uh, don't know the name of this collection, but it's really, really cool. It's vintage. And I also used my favorite stencil, what I used to build any tower. It's a brick stencil. It's pretty awesome. And of course, acrylic dubbers. So after this, uh, after I covered it with uh, black paint, I would dub, 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 dub it with that uh, dubber, acrylic paint dubber, purple twilight. Okay, and then I would add a, like a lighter shade, which is at uh, orchid. And then I would uh, add a little bit, uh, kind of like on a dry brush, uh, coral color. That would give me this like very nice colored bricks. This is another die cut. I love die cuts. 
it's just my favorite it's like the oldest one probably the oldest I had um, so the sleeves they came from I'm roses this is uh, this is a really nice trim I brought from Russia and I used it here it reminds me of um, of the clock gears oops the glue gun glue gun sticks in here hmm. so this is the same product as that Boston found I just cut it in pieces and placed it all around so I'm very happy how it turned out another side oh I also made this butterflies by hand using a punch I believe it's EK, EK success I think yes EK so I would like punch a butterfly out of transparency and then I would color it with my stickles stickles are awesome I think it turned out pretty great another one is uh, another type of butterfly it's all look like it's been embossed that's the look I was going for I forgot to mention that this clock is a glow-in-the-dark clock and I used that awesome glow it paint and I painted this um, the clock itself and arrows and I mm, covered it this little embellishment wherever you see white it will glow in the dark so at night it looks pretty awesome and in the daytime okay I was uh, very happy to share with you Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day.